Uh, hello friends. Uh, now let us see this uh, third geometrical object that is the right circular cylinder. Uh, so we have already seen a uh, sphere and cone, a uh, right circular cone. Uh, so what is right circular cylinder and how it is generated? So it is uh, the, the right circular cylinder is generated with, by using a line. Okay. So we start with a line. This line is called as an axis. Okay. So we start with a line called as an axis and then we will take a, another line which is parallel to this. So we will take another line that is parallel to this line. Okay. This is called as generator. So there are two lines now parallel to each other. One is called as axis, one is called as generator. And then this generator line revolves around this axis. So axis is fixed and generator line revolves around this axis. Okay. And in order to that, it will generate a cylinder. Okay. So when we revolve it like this, we will get a cylinder. Okay. So this is this kind of picture we will have after revolving this generator line around the axis. Okay. And we'll get a, a cylinder. Fine. So uh, suppose the equation of axis is given as say, so equation of axis is say uh, x minus uh, alpha upon a equal to y minus beta upon b equal to z minus uh, gamma upon c. Okay. This ABC are the uh, direction ratios of the uh, axis. Uh, and we know that this alpha, beta, gamma will be any one point lying on the axis. So let me take that point over here. Say this is alpha, beta, gamma point. Okay. This is alpha, beta, gamma point. What we want is we want to find out locus of a point which is on the generator. So I will take a point on generator. Say P point x, y, z. Right? And if I drop a perpendicular from this towards the axis. So on the axis I am drawing a perpendicular. Hmm? Let the perpendicular meets the axis at say M. And this point we will call as say A. Okay? Then see that this becomes a right angle triangle. Okay? And note that uh, the base that we have generating of the cylinder is a uh, circular base. That's why it is called as a right circular cylinder. So we are generating this base as a circle. Right? So this circle has some radius. This is the radius of the circle. Same, the PM is same as the radius because these two lines are parallel. Okay? So we know PM. Okay? We know what is this AM. AM is a projection of this line PA and PA line can be calculated um, or distance PA can also be calculated by using the distance formula, right? And by Pythagoras theorem, so we say here uh, PM is equal to radius of base circle, okay? Then uh, P A will be equal to under root of uh, x minus alpha bracket square, y minus beta bracket square, plus z minus gamma bracket square. Right? Uh, so that is P A. And now what is A M? A M is the projection uh, of line P A. PA on the axis, right? And uh, you have already learned in 12 how to find out this projection, okay? So it's a very simple trick. Uh, we will find out that projection. Uh, but for to find out the projection, what we require is the direction cosines of this axis, okay? Direction cosines. 
here these are the direction ratios of the axis right so from the direction ratios we will obtain the direction cosines of the axis so i say direction cosines of axis r okay uh, so we will call them as l it is what a divided by under root of a square plus b square plus c square or uh, m is equal to b divided by under root of and n is equal to c divided by under root of a square plus b square plus c square so see that from the direction ratios we have obtained the direction cosines now once the direction cosines are known uh, we can directly write down the distance am that is the uh, okay so uh, we have obtained the uh, lmn as the uh, direction cosines of axis right and now what we will do is uh, we will find out am uh, by the formula so am is equal to uh, l into x minus alpha plus m into y minus beta plus n into z minus gamma okay so this is our projection right now you observe the triangle pma so in triangle pma okay by pythagoras theorem hmm uh, pm square or pa square is equal to a uh, pm square plus am square okay the same procedure we will follow so pa square is what it is x minus alpha sorry bracket square plus y minus beta bracket square plus z minus gamma bracket square is equal to now pm square is r square plus pam square is l into x minus alpha plus m into y minus beta plus n into z minus gamma whole square okay and now this becomes the equation of the right circular cylinder okay this is the equation of right circular cylinder right so let let us just repeat it once again what we have done so far see we started with an axis the equation of axis is given to me uh, so i got the direction ratios there i got a point on the axis hmm? then uh, we have taken a point on the generator that is pxyz and we observe the triangle pma it's a right angle triangle because m is a perpendicular uh, from p to the axis then uh, this pm is same as the base radius because it's a path it, both these lines are parallel so we call this as to be r okay am is a projection and that we have calculated and then everything we put just in the pythagoras theorem okay uh, that gives us the equation of the right circular cylinder fine we'll see the illustrations in the next video